In this lesson, we'll be creating a SWARF toolpath with surface selection. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a multi-axis SWARF toolpath and use the surface selection mode to control a SWARF toolpath. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example, and let's take a look at creating a SWARF toolpath using our surface selection options. We're going to go ahead and just create a new one by going into multi-axis and selecting SWARF. From here, we're going to use the same tool, and in the geometry section, we're going to set the drive mode to surfaces. The selection mode is faces, and all we need to do is select this face, and note that the lower contour is blue and the upper contour is yellow. We have the option to machine other side, or as well as flip top to bottom. Depending on, again, the machine, the way your part is fixtured, and the orientation, you could potentially machine most of these from two different directions. In our case, because it's going down to a solid face, we won't have that option. We have to machine it from the top. But you'll notice if we simulate this, that the end result is going to be the same as the contour version that we selected. So in some cases, the surface selection is going to be a much easier option. And in other times, you might want to select the contours. But in this case, we have the same results, and if we use the same options by coming into our passes and changing the cutting mode, changing whether or not we use multiple passes, and turning on options like minimize axial motion and cut both ways, the results for both of these toolpaths will be identical. From here, let's go ahead and save this file before we move on to the next step. 